Hello, welcome to Vintage Contemporary Sense Editorial. Today we're looking at a couple of vintage uh, dinner jackets and pants from the 1940s and 1960s. The history of the tuxedo goes back to the 18th century or further back with tailcoats and that that changed with the, that was the British tradition that changed with the Americans who cut off the tails in Tuxedo uh, Junction in New York State in 1888 and what the British began to call a dinner jacket without tails the, the American version of the dinner jacket is a white jacket that you wear in the spring or summer or fall but um, one thing the British and Americans did agree on was the, the tuxedo and dinner jacket were synonymously known as a black tie formal outfit. The uh, only other term of reference for tuxedo or dinner jacket is the French designation which is smoking jacket, smoking suit, which are a bit heavier fabric to withstand uh, excesses of partying. Okay, one thing that uh, one should take note of when uh, dressing up for a fancy gala affair at $100 a plate, which isn't really that much to spend on charity if you think about it. It only happens every once a year, but um, you must spend a little bit of time preparing yourself if you have to attach the studs to the bib of the shirt. You have to get a shiny bow tie and you can get one that's self-tied like this one which is a bit more askew and uh, original look and requires a little bit of time to tie it but it's a skill that's very rewarding. And the cummerbund, preferably a little bit of a wider one, especially if you have an ample waist. And the folds on the cummerbund face upwards, so you have space to put your ticket into. But if you have a larger ticket, you can just put it in the jacket pocket and of course no uh, tuxedo dinner jacket pairing would be without polished leather shoes these are slip-ons and you can get lace-ups also but the polished leather looks very nice. It matches the tie and the cummerbund and really adds a nice uh, accent to your pairing, your monochrome black pairing. This is a very simple look. I'll just put on the jacket now. This is an after six jacket which has over almost a century of producing black tie dinner jacket tuxedos for men. They uh, have softer shoulders which Armani later emulated as one of the styles from that time era, 1930s to 1950s, roughly speaking, and much more comfortable, often half-lined or completely unlined 
jackets were produced by After Six and it's much more comfortable. Usually a single closure jacket has one button as opposed to two or three, although you see all sorts of varieties of dinner jackets these days with three buttons uh, up to high gorge jackets with four buttons. But the classic single closure is one button and it's ironically casual enough that you can leave it open and you can see the cummerbund. It's a very uh, crisp, clean, neat, slightly regimented, very formal appearance for men. And uh, the uniformity is almost exquisite. So again, this is an after six shawl collar dinner jacket and you can find those easily on eBay for at least $100 for vintage vintage uh, You'll notice in the preceding segment that I was wearing high-waisted trousers. It's particularly with vintage tuxedo dinner jackets, smoking jackets, black tie pairings. You get very high-waisted trousers. Not so much nowadays, but this is a style from the, from the past and makes you look taller. And also the, the cummerbund, which is not a waistcoat, is, um, rests higher on the, on the waist. So now I'm going, keeping that in mind, um, putting on a French croissé, otherwise known as overlapping quarter jacket that um, is in the tradition of the smoking jacket. It's very heavy fabric. You can see the distinctive peaked lapels on this crosset. And it only has two buttons, but they're above the side pockets. And it's also got nice shoulders like the After Six jacket. Slightly padded, softly tailored. Again, if you can spend the time, make the effort to tie your own bow tie then uh, you get a very nice, slightly casual look, but still very, very formal. And it is an attention to detail that a woman with a discerning eye will appreciate. Well, thank you for watching this edition of Vintage Contemporary Sense Editorial, Formal Wear for Men. love you to leave us a like and subscribe it's easy to do and it doesn't cost anything and remember
remember, you just keep an eye out on eBay for those low cost um, pre-worn tuxedos.